next deadly collision between a train and a bus in Ottawa. Late this afternoon, Transportation Safety Board investigators revealed they have made progress. They haven't figured out the cause of the crash, but as Jacques Bourbeau reports, they have narrowed down the possibilities. Friday morning rush hour in Ottawa, and a lot of eyes were on this railway crossing. As a train approached, the warning gates came down, city buses stopped. Moving slowly, a via rail train was led down the track through the crossing by a man wearing an orange vest. These extra precautions understandable, because here, 48 hours earlier, a double-decker city bus slammed into a via train. Now, the rhythms of the morning commute are slowly returning. The accident not far from the minds of those waiting for a bus today. I never thought of a bus as, as a dangerous place to be. But, you know, this incident shows it can be. After finishing their on-site examination, investigators towed the double-decker bus from the crash site last night. At the TSB lab, information from the train's black box has been extracted. It shows the train started braking two seconds before impact. It didn't blow its whistle because of a municipal ban, and it was traveling below the speed limit. As for the level crossing warning system, it was working. The crossing lights, bells, and gates were activated 47 seconds prior to impact. The gates were fully horizontal for 25 seconds prior to impact. Investigators still can't say much about the bus, whether it had any mechanical problems. They'll be looking at that and the condition of the driver. We're going to review uh, uh, medical history. Uh, we're going to review the, the, work, uh, work, the work schedule of the, of the individual. As buses rolled through the crash site, the head of the bus driver's union was at a nearby transit stop. He, like everyone else, hoping the TSB can answer the many questions about this accident. They're just checking the past records and talking to anybody who might have been involved with that bus so that we get a true final picture of, of what could possibly happen. Investigators will now be focusing on three things, the bus and its mechanical systems, the driver, and the sight lines at the level crossing. The first hints of where they think the cause of this accident will be found. Donna? All right, Jacques Bourbeau in Ottawa, thanks.